Art and I'm here today with Brick Mums and Kodak to do a little Christmas craft with you. Um, I don't know if you remember seeing these little baubles made out of kids art last year on my site. Well this year it's, we're going to do the same principle but with photos. This makes a really cute little keepsake of the year because the photos you choose could reflect the year you've just gone by. So they make a nice little stocking filler for a grandparent or just, just for yourselves. They're really easy to make and your kids can help you if they feel like it. Um, so quite straightforward, so I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is select some photos, um, which you then want to cut out. Two quick ways of doing it. One is you pick your photo, then you select your print menu, and then you can choose how many photos you have printed per page. And um, then you get something like, like this, and then you can just print out several pictures per page and then cut out your faces. The other way of doing it is to go to somewhere like PowerPoint, which is what I've done here, and I did myself a little circle template because I like to be quite accurate as to how I do it, and all my circles are 4.5 centimetres, and then I just chose lots of different photos. I made sure I had an even number of both children and a couple of us as parents. So then what you do is you hit print, and you get your sheet, like this, and you also need a second sheet, which will be your, your contrasting border. So you can use your wrapping paper or you can print out your own, which is what I've done. And the way you print out your own is you go to the clever printables again. Um, Red Ted Art's got a tab where there's a whole set of printables. I've used some origami paper. Um, and origami paper comes in all sorts of colours and patterns and I think it looks really nice. So I've got a red one and a blue one. And then once you've got these all ready, you get cracking. So I've got, got my basics. So Photos, background paper, I have some glue, some ribbon, a glass as a template, and a pen and a, and a pair of scissors. So, firstly, we need to cut out six of the background, so I'll just measure it like this. So you need six of these circles. And then you need six photos. Like that. Then I'll choose six photos. So I've got one here of Max last year. Mama. Cut it out. And then basically just using PVA glue, you stick Mama. it on. So here's my glue, and you, then you just stick it on. I actually did six already, just so I can show you. So I've got my six pictures. And now comes the fun bit, the assembling. You fold each in half, like this. Try and get really, try and do it as neatly as possible, because then your final bauble will look better, like this. So you've got one, here's Max coming to take a look. Because they are quite interesting. Two. Three, four, five, and six. And then you basically start gluing. So you take one, add some glue. Sorry, this is my glue obviously not coming out now. Here we go. I make this a bit messy. I, I like to do it with my fingers because I want to get it all to the edge. You don't have to, but I just think it's a bit neater. So I've got one of Max. I'm going to alternate now Max and Pippa. Here's a second one. Stick it on. Then you fold it over and you do the next one. Don't worry if they all move along a bit because basically at the end you'll just tidy it all up. So for now, I'm just gluing them all together as one big piece. some with daddy haven't we and then there's Pippa so here I've got all six of them together side by side and then what you do is you add lots of glue in the middle because that's going to hold your ribbon 
piece of glue. You add glue to both sides, so you've got lots of this. So you've got glue on both sides, you've got your, your ribbon in the middle. I'll get my ribbon, which is quite long, so let's cut it a little bit. This will now, this, it's quite important that that gets enough glue because that's what's going to hold it all up. And then you just fold it over, you rearrange all your circles so they're nice and neat, like that, like that, like that, like that. And then, to be honest, you just squish it all a bit and you've got your basic bauble. I like to just give it a little squeeze every so often, but to be honest it's best if you just leave it and then um, just check on it, make sure that it's all nice and neat and then when it's finished you have a bauble like this. So it's really quite quick and easy, the kids can help you with the folding and the sticking and I think they are really sweet. So um, yeah, have a go, see what you can make out of your photos.